One of the questions that I get from newer Linux users, especially those of you that are new to using standalone window managers like Openbox, Fluxbox, JWM, or any of the many tiling window managers out there like i3, Awesome, Xmonad, is how did I achieve transparency in my terminals and Emacs and, and whatever program that you guys see me with a, a transparent background? And I do that by using a compositor. A compositor makes transparency and drop shadowing and effects like that possible in these standalone window managers and the one I use and the one I suggest you use is called Compton. Let's discuss. So first let me demonstrate what these people are asking me about what these compositing effects are. So if I go to my desktop uh, some of the obvious effects that compositors bring to the table Transparency is the most obvious one. So if I open, you know, any of the terminal emulators that are installed on my system, like URXVT here, you know, this obviously is transparent. The background's transparent. When I move the window around, it actually handles the transparency quite well. I don't know if you also noticed, but the window has a slight drop shadow around it, and the drop shadow moves with the window. Kind of a neat effect. Uh, I say it's neat. Now, those of you running traditional desktop environments like GNOME, KDE, XFCE, or the desktop environments and things like Windows, Mac OS, are like, well, I've already got drop shadowing around my windows and transparency in certain applications. Uh, what's the big deal? Well, when you use more minimal window managers like Openbox and the various tiling window managers, you know, they don't have built-in compositing because it's kind of that minimal mindset. If you want compositing, you need to go install a, a third-party compositing program and then enable compositing if you want it. Uh, I think most people probably do. So that's URXVT, the terminal emulator. My default terminal emulator is ST. I've got, of course, transparency in it, although that requires a patch. <laughs> you have to actually patch ST. For compositing but you also have to have a compositor on the system for the transparency patch to actually work in ST and then Emacs is another one you guys have been asking me about so if I open up you know like my awesome window manager config in Emacs you can see Emacs is transparent and this is the actual graphical version of Emacs the GUI version of Emacs this is not Emacs in the terminal but you see I have a transparent background and some of you guys are like how do you do that I, some of you guys know how to get it in the various terminals because so many people do that, but what about some of these other programs that are not terminal emulators? How do I set rules to get transparency in something like Emacs? Well, first of all, install Compton. Compton is a compositor. It's probably the most popular third-party compositing program out there in Linux. It's the one I use, the one I recommend you use. So if you're in a Debian or Debian based distro sudo apt install Compton. If you're on Arch or Arch based systems sudo pacman dash capital S Compton and then once you have Compton installed you need to actually run Compton. You just need to open a terminal or from your run command launcher just type the word Compton and boom you should be all set. Now you should write a config file for Compton. You should set certain rules because you don't want all your windows transparent, right? You probably just want a few different ones having transparency. So what you need to do is I'm going to open up Emacs. This is actually my home directory inside Emacs because of course Emacs can be used as a file manager. And in your home directory, of course, you have a hidden directory called .config. Inside .config, if you don't have a folder called Compton, create one. And in that Compton folder, create a document called Compton.conf. Compton.conf, or for config, right? And then in that file, you can set rules for all your windows or just certain types of windows. For example, I have shadowing is true, shadow radius, shadow offset. You know, this is for the shadows around your windows, and that covers all types of windows, regardless of what they are. But then I have certain rules just for certain types of windows. For example, the Lynx web browser uh, is not transparent by default in some of my terminal emulators. So I set a rule here in Compton, 95% opacity when any window has the name Lynx as part of the name. Uh, now, 
that has a interesting side effect, a negative side effect sometimes, because what if I open Firefox, for example, and I want to go read some documentation on the Lynx web browser? The title of your Firefox window that you happen to have open is probably going to include the word Lynx in that, and all of a sudden your web browser goes to 95% opacity just while you're on that page. As soon as you leave that page, because the page title changes, it will no longer include the word Lynx. Opacity is back to 100%. I know it sounds strange. I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. But this one of the things that often trips people up when they start playing with Compton is they're like, hey man, some of my windows are not acting right. Well, they are acting right. They're, they're uh, abiding by the rules you set. You just set some rules and you weren't prepared for some of the side effects. So I set a rule here that anytime I open the Surf web browser and the name of the browser includes the word suckless.org, because the title of that browser, whenever you go to suckless.org, it'll have suckless.org as part of the title of the program. I want that to have 95% opacity. So to see this in action, let me just open in D menu. I'll run surf suckless.org. And you see suckless.org, the web page in surf, is transparent. It has 95% opacity. Now, if I went somewhere else other than suckless.org it would not have 95 percent transparency and i'll show you that if i hit Control g inside surf you know and i go to i don't know my gitlab page for example now surf no longer is 95 percent opaque right now it's a standard web browser but if i were to go back and go back to suckless.org it's not in my list here i'll just type it out there it is i found it you say 95% opacity. It's because I have that rule set up here. It's just for when I'm on that particular page or any page that includes suckless.org as part of its web page title. I also have 95% opacity with any window that it is titled Newsboat because Newsboat by default, even if I run it in a terminal emulator with transparency, Newsboat often does not want to have a transparent background. Background, It wants to have a solid background. I force it to, to have transparency by using Compton. You see I've set uh, URXVT and Xterm to be 100% opaque. I can change that if I want to. I mean I could actually change URXVT to be 95% opaque if I wanted to. I could save that. Now, of course, I have to kill Compton because Compton is already running. So let me kill all Compton. If I want to, I can launch Compton again. And while Compton is running, let me launch URXVT and see if it's now 95% opaque. And it is, right? So that is URXVT and it is opaque. You can see the text of the window behind it, you know, does bleed through. Anyway, if you guys are interested in Compton, I'd suggest checking out maybe the Arch Wiki on Compton. Uh, I'm sure there's documentation about it in the Arch Wiki because so many Arch users use Compton since so many Arch users use Window Manager only. And uh, if you want to, you can check out my Compton config at my GitLab page, although there's not too much to it. I actually don't play with my Compton config that often. I've been using Compton forever and I rarely ever open this config file and change it because I've just got some pretty standard rules that I've been using forever. Uh, you guys also see that I have set 96 percent opacity for class, any window class that is Emacs. So that's where I get the Emacs opacity. All right before I go this show was made possible by Alex, Ansem, Chris, Daniel, David, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Corbinian, Lambda, Mitchell, Natek, Rob, Robert, Sean, and Willie. They're the producers of the show. These guys, they're my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this show about the Compton Compositor wouldn't be possible. The show's also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen. You know, without these guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. Sincere thank you to each and every one of those guys. If you'd like to support the channel, Please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.